hello guys in this video we are going to control leds using push button with the help of arduino in tinkercad so in this project i have used arduino uno r3 board push button is hooked up to the pin number 13 led 1 on pin number 8 and led 2 on pin number 2 so the their cathodes are connected to ground the other end of push button is supplied with the voltage of 5 volts then the LEDs of connected sorry the LEDs connected to these pins are connected via a resistance of 560 ohms that limits the flow of current flowing through the LEDs so the objective of this project is to create several function to control the LEDs in different manner according to the selected board so now we should see how we are going to implement the same with the help of coding so this is the code firstly defining the LEDs and push button the LEDs are defined as LED1 and LED2 which are connected to the pins 2 and 3 respectively of Arduino board then push button is defined as button which is connected to pin number 13 of Arduino then, then mode is defined in boolean type which will be used to toggle the LEDs then I have defined the count in integer type. I will explain its working in the later code. Then coming to setup part, void setup function. Here we set up the LEDs and button. Sorry button. Firstly, setting the serial monitor with the baud rate of 9600. Baud rate of 9600 has been set. Then uh, since we are controlling the LEDs with the help of push button so the push button is set as input and the LEDs are set as output so this is and this is it with the setup part now coming to void loop here firstly we have to read the input given through the button like if the button is pressed then this count variable will be incremented by 1 and serial monitor should print the count value then like uh, the first time I press the button the count will be incremented to 1 so the count if if the count is 1 then in that case we will blink the LED 1 that is the red one for continuously with the delay of 1000 milliseconds that is 1 second now again if I press the button then the count value should become 2 then in this case the LED will blink the LED 2 will blink continuously with the help of sorry with the delay of 1 second then again if I press the button the count becomes 3 so in this case both the LEDs will blink continuously with the delay of 1000 milliseconds again if I press the button the count becomes 4 now in this case uh, the LEDs will blink alternatively and the variable mode is used here. So since it is defined as boolean type so the statement mode equals to not mode is very important. Like if mode is true then LED1 will glow and at the same instant it will be and like the LED2 will be at off condition. This on off on off it, it will continuously it will be continuously happening so it repeats they will toggle so they will toggle each other now at the end if I press the push button again like for the fifth time I am pressing so at that instant the count will be made as zero and again the count will be incrementing from here and the loop continuously runs for infinite time so that's all with the code now we shall see the simulation I will start the simulation now so it started I will press the button for the first time 
so you can see LED one is blinking continuously with the DT of one second. Now if I press it again for the second time, count value is be has become two. In the, the the same we can see in serial monitor also. Then I will press the button again. Both the LEDs should blink together now. You can see both the LEDs are blinking together with a delay of one second. Now for the fourth time, I will press. They are toggling each other now. And the same, the count value is four. The serial monitor has also printed the same. Now the fifth time, I will press. The count will be updated by five. And at that case, count will become zero. It won't be displayed in serial monitor, but it will in, it will be incremented when I press. Yes, you can see the count has become one again. So in that case, LED one will blink, and this repeats. Like since we are in loop function, so it will repeat. That's all with the project. That's how we can control. Like you can use uh, any number of LEDs to control to control them, and you can use your own method to control. Thank you for watching this video.